Hi guys, hope we're all well, hope we're having a good week. Um, welcome to this week's session of Football Fitness. The, the layout's going to be very similar to previous weeks. We're going to have our five exercises again. Um, we're going to have our conditioning, which will be the side steps. We're going to have our upper body workout, which will be diamond press-ups. Lower body will be side lunges. The core will look at some up-down press um, plank. And then the ball mastery will look at a bit of close control, toe tap type things. Um, the equipment we need is a little bit different for today. I've arranged it in an unusual way just because I need to get it all on camera, but obviously you guys can organise it in your house, whatever works best for you. So we've got our normal uh, one metre by one metre sort of square set up for our ball mastery at the end. We've got our soft mat for when we're going to be doing our diamond press ups and our up down um, planks. We've also got six rolled up pairs of socks, okay, just separated. If you've got combs, we've got something else that will work too. It's just so we can work on our quick feet going through there, all right? If you haven't got yourself warmed up now, now's your time to press pause and get yourself warmed up, get yourself ready, and I'll begin. It will be the same as last week, previous week, so it'll be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. I'll explain the next exercise in that 30 seconds rest. All right, so before we get started, I'll explain the first one, then we can get going. So, for our conditioning today, we're going to do some side steps going in and out of um, the socks. All right, so if you can't do this, I'll give you an easy version of what. But if you have, I'm sure I've done a lot of it with my class previously in school. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, in and out of the socks as fast as you can. I'll just go through it again. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, and then back the other way, nice and fast. Make sure you've got correct footwear on so you're not sliding around too much. If you can't do that, then you can either do high knees between each one, or you can do two steps in each one. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Try not to stand on the socks. Yeah? But let's try and challenge yourself to start off with. So side steps, one, two, one, two. Either way, get nice and low, work on that agility and change the direction. And let's get that heart rate up. Okay? So, that'll be the first one. 30 seconds begins now. Nice and low, changing direction. Loads of little steps. Halfway through. Again, if you can't do it, get some high knees going. So that's the first one. Upper body workout, we're going to do our diamond press ups. So, a normal press up, your hands will be here. This time, you're going to see if you can get your hands up to put a diamond. If you're struggling with that, then go onto your knees. Alright? So, feet up, diamond, and down we would go. Normal press up. Yeah? If you're struggling, go on your knees. Five seconds, we'll get going. Two, one, go. Nice and slow, keep it controlled. Contract your core. Nice and low, keep those fingers in that diamond or a triangle position. Work on your triceps. Three, two, one. Up right there. Okay, our lower body is going to be looking at side lunges today. So I'll just show you now. Feet together to start off with, hands wherever you feel comfortable. Take a step to the right and lunge. Keep your chest up, head up, lunge. Keep it all controlled, so. Start in five seconds. Off we go. Nice wide step. Controlled. Keep your heels on the ground. It's halfway through. Go as low as you feel comfortable. Don't overstretch. 
Five seconds. Okay. Onto our core, we're going to look at some up down planks. So, for those of you who have not done them before, normal plank position, but you're going to transfer from your elbows to your hands. So, we'll just go like this. So, hands, elbows, hands, elbows, hands, elbows. Start in five seconds. Two, one, go. Keep your core contracted, keep everything nice and controlled. This should get your heart rate up. Deep breaths, don't hold your breath. Get into a nice rhythm. Ten seconds. Don't let a bum go too high or too low. Done. Right, so our ball mastery. Whew. So we've been working on uh, our touch and so on a few weeks, obviously the past few weeks. This time we're going to look at big toe, little toe. So we're going to alternate between touching it with our big toe and our little toe. So big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe, big toe, little toe. I'm just going to try and do that in the same position to start off with. If you haven't got a ball, go back to your conditioning. Do that same one again. And off we go. Again, if you haven't got a football, basketball is fine, but tennis ball, whatever. Big toe, little toe, big toe. Keep it in that area. Big toe, little toe, big toe. Halfway through. Nice and controlled, loads of little touches. Eight seconds left. Done. Whew, that's round one done. Heart rate should be up, should be sweating. Fifteen seconds and we'll go back to our conditioning. So it's going to be side set through the socks. Five seconds, we'll get going again. So this will be round two. Three, two, one, go. Nice and low, low, loads of little steps. Change the direction nice and quickly. The closer you make your obstacles, the closer you make your socks, the harder it's going to be for you. Can't get the side steps in. Just do two feet or high knees. And up. Twenty seconds, and we'll get into our diamond press ups again. Ten seconds. Down we go, down press ups. Nice and controlled. On the way up, on the way down. Don't just let your body drop. Control yourself on the way down as well. Halfway through. You're struggling, go onto your knees. Loads of deep breaths. Five seconds. Done. 30 seconds, we'll draw side lunges. With these, you want to be going probably, if you've got a mat like this, probably to the end of the mat. Yeah? Just wider than the shoulder width apart. Five seconds, we'll go again. Don't rush this. Control it all the way down, control it all the way up. Keep your chest up. Off we go. Quiet 
Oh, so you think about pushing yourself back up on that one leg. One more. And out. Okay. Up, down, planks. With these, as long as your body keeping it nice and contract, keeping it still, get your arms and shoulders moving as fast as they can. 10 seconds and we'll go. See how many you can get in 30 seconds. Off we go. seconds and we'll do our ball mastery. So this time we make it slightly different. So you can do big toe, little toe with your right foot and halfway through after 15 seconds I'll say switch and you'll do big toe, little toe with your left foot. We'll start in five. Again if you've not got a ball go back to conditioning. Keep your heart rate up. Okay off we go. Big toe, little toe. clock as well. And switch to your left. Big toe, little toe. Try and keep it in that square. Much harder with the weaker foot. Done. Okay, two rounds done, two sets done. One final one. Should all be nice and sweaty now. Okay, three seconds, we've got conditioning for the last time. Go as fast as we can. Off we go. seconds. Can we get two more way through? Done. Whew. Okay. Last time we'll do the diamond, diamond press-ups, push-ups. Do you feel it burning here when we're doing these? The triceps. Ten seconds and we'll start. So many variations of the push up. Nice and controlled. Halfway through. Five seconds. And then. Side lunges. Shake those muscles off. Three, two, one. If you want to make this one even harder, feel free to hold the weight as well. Too soon, so you've got an extra 10 second break for this one. 
Right, so we have a race. Ten seconds will start. Up, down, plank. Let's see if you can beat me. So keep count. Ready? Go. So I'm counting every time the elbows go down. Nine. Oh, feel it burn. Five seconds. Oh, oh. I think I was 16, my is there. 16 times my elbows went on the ground. Fifteen seconds and we'll get going on the last last one, so that's this time you can use any foot, but I want you to move around in your square. Yeah, so big toe, little toe, moving around. Five seconds we'll go. Two, one, go. So big toe, little toe, can you move around the square? Can you change direction? Gauge how much pressure you need to apply to the ball. Big toe, little toe, not using the saw, not using the laces, just the big toe, little toe, and change it up, big toe, little toe, back foot as well, three seconds, done, well then guys, Hope you're all as sweaty as I am, as tired as I am, it's hard work. If for whatever reason you're not out of breath, you're not sweating or it's too easy for you, up the reps, up the time, so change it to 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, add another ex exercise in there, do six exercises, three sets, do four sets, up to you. Make sure you are doing a cool down, it's just as important as the warm up. Good little cool down now if you have the space and if you've got football, Get me 25 kick-ups, get me 50 kick-ups, get me 100 if you can. Yeah? Challenge yourself. Well done, guys.